welcome to my first video review. Uh, I've done a lot, a couple of these, like four or five on Facebook, and I was like, you know what? My beautiful girlfriend bought me this camcorder two years ago, and I've used it one time. I think I need to break it out and start doing video reviews again. I think that's what everybody wants. Not really, but that's what I want to do. I have the creative juices flowing, and I have a lot of stuff to say about all the movies and all the TV shows and everything that we watch. So without further ado, our first one is Thor Love and Thunder, the latest Marvel entry in the Phase 4 for Marvel. This is kind of a miss for me, which is surprising because I really liked Ragnarok. It had the same guy behind it in Taike YTT. You might know him from What We Do in the Shadows. Um, he is a really funny guy, and I feel like this was just trying to rehash, trying to make a Ragnarok 2 without making a Ragnarok 2. And I think the best part of Ragnarok was the buddy comedy between Hawk and Thor. And in this one, it just, it just seems like it tries too hard. I think that's my... What I think they should have done was give more screen time to Christian Bale, the God Butcher, which is a good premise. It's a good, it's a good darker take on it. It would have been more entertaining to see him on screen more often. You can't get enough Christian Bale. If you have the use of Christian Bale, give me more Christian Bale. I think that's what that's what was needed, which was a good premise where he could go and kill gods, but they didn't give him enough screen time. I think what he had was really good at times. I think there was certain, certain darker scenes that I thought they were going to go with when he's locked in there with the kids and stuff that it just didn't, just didn't get as dark as you thought it could have. Um, but overall, I think it just needed new, more. What Christian they do Bale. try to would... do is concentrate on the the romance angle between Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman. In the first two movies, I thought that it was just Natalie Portman, Chris Hemsworth, and we're two attractive people and we like each other because we're attractive, as opposed to actually concentrating on why they are having a romantic interlude, if you will, and. I think this movie does try to do that, but you know what? It seems like it's trying so hard at the jokes that the bigger love triangle is between Thor, the hammer, and the axe. You know what I mean? So it, it, just, it just didn't land with me enough. This is actually my second least favorite of all the Marvel movies. Uh, my least favorite is Dark World, which is also a Thor movie, which is funny because actually Ragnarok is one of my favorite. So it's not just I have like you know some 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 personal attack on Thor. It's not that. It's just that it it's just it's not it's not that entertaining. I mean that that's that's not the easiest way of saying it. There's a lot of Marvel movies that I would enjoy watching again. This is not one of them. So I would give this one six out of ten Junior Mints. It was worth the it was worth the movie. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I sat there saying, oh, I look at my phone. How long is this? Is it over yet? It's not that bad, but. For Marvel and their standards, it's 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 just it's just not for me. Let's put it that way. I know I know it sounds worse than a six out of ten, but I'm giving it a six out of ten. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. I got a lot more going on tomorrow. We're going to see Nope, Jordan Peele's newest. We just rewatched Get Out and Us. So I'm hoping that this is just as good as those two. And if it is, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And I'll get back and give you some more info on Nope tomorrow. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.